Hi, welcome to this video. I am Prajwal from prajwalshinde.com and in this video we are going to see how to install WordPress plugins on your blog. In this video we are going to discuss what is a WordPress plugin, where to find the important plugins for your blog, how to install a new WordPress plugin on your blog and the important plugins recommended by prajwalshinde.com to boost the performance of your WordPress blog. By the end of this video, you will be able to find, install and activate WordPress plugins on your blog. That brings us to the first point which is what are WordPress plugins? Plugins are a special piece of software that extend the functionality of your WordPress blog to do virtually anything you could imagine. Plugins can add extra functionality to your blog without you being able to do any of the coding. That means even if you do not know any coding, you'll still be able to add all the extra functionalities to your WordPress blog. Plugins are one of the main reasons why WordPress is so popular on the internet today. And thanks to the open source community, a lot of freelancers and web designers are releasing a lot of very very good WordPress plugins which you can use to install on your blog and it adds a lot of advanced features for your WordPress blog. Here are some of the examples of the extra functionalities that you can add to your blog using WordPress plugins. You can easily add audio and video to your WordPress blog using WordPress plugins. You can share your posts and allow your users to share your posts to social media using plugins. You can allow your users to subscribe to your post using various tools using WordPress plugins. You can allow your readers to print your posts. And there are a lot of other functionalities that you can achieve using WordPress plugins. The main idea here is to not install all the plugins that are existing out there on the internet. We need to pick some important and powerful WordPress plugins and install it on your blog to boost the performance of your WordPress blog. We are going to recommend and share some of the important plugins that can help you do this. When you install your WordPress blog, there are some default plugins that would already be installed with your WordPress blog. They will not be activated until you activate these plugins. The first plugin is Akismet plugin and the second is Hello Dolly plugin. Both these plugins are uploaded with your WordPress blog at the same time but they will not be activated. Let's go ahead and have a look at these two plugins. First open your web browser and go to the WordPress admin area of your blog. In our case, it is www.rapidbloggingvideoguide.com forward slash wp admin and hit the enter button. Now log into your admin area using your WordPress username and password. Once you're inside your WordPress admin area, Scroll down and go to the plugins section. Here are the two plugins that we had discussed in this video earlier. The first one is Akismet and second one is Haladoli. Both these plugins are uploaded during the installation of your WordPress blog, but they are not activated. Akismet is a plugin which is, acts as an anti-spam plugin which prevents the spam comments into getting into your comments area. To know how to install Akismet plugin on your blog, visit the plugin site and you'll get the steps to install this plugin. Hello Dolly is just a typical WordPress plugin that shows how a WordPress plugin works. I'm not going to get into the detail of both these plugins. 
In this video, I'll show you how you can find, install and activate a new WordPress plugin that will increase the functionality of your WordPress blog. Next, I'll show you how to find and install a new WordPress plugin on your blog. There are two simple ways to find a WordPress plugin that you're looking for. The first way is to go to wordpress.org and search for the WordPress plugin that you're looking for. The second way is if you know the name of the WordPress plugin that you're looking for, you can simply search it on google.com. Once you find the WordPress plugin that you're looking for, the next step is to download the plugin files onto your computer hard drive. After that, upload the plugin files to your blog and activate and customize the plugin. Next, I'll show you how you can do all these things very easily. I'll show you with an example of a plugin called Personal Tweet Me button, which allows your readers to share your blog posts on Twitter. Next, I'll show you how you can install and activate this Personal Tweet Me button plugin on your WordPress blog. First, open your web browser and go to www.wordpress.org it will take you to the home page of wordpress.org in the navigation menu you will have a menu called extend under the extend you will have a menu called plugins click on plugins once you click on the plugins menu under the extend you'll be taken to the plugin directory here you'll find all the free plugins that are existing in the wordpress plugin directory to search for a wordpress plugin type the name of the wordpress plugin that you're searching for in this box and hit the enter button or click on the search plugins in this case we are going to search for personal tweet me button here you'll not only find the personal tweet me button you'll also find similar wordpress plugins below so in this case we are going to find and install personal tweet me button click on the personal tweet me button link it will also be shown the version of the plugin you're going to install when it was updated, the downloads and the rating of this WordPress plugin. That's really useful when you have several options of WordPress plugin that have similar functions and it will help you to install the best WordPress plugin on your blog. Once you click on the personal tweet me button link, you'll be taken to the personal tweet me button plugin description where you can have a look at the information of this plugin you can have a look at the installation guide you can have a look at the frequently asked questions but what people are asking frequently about this wordpress plugin you can also look at the screenshot of how this wordpress plugin looks on your blog and also the st stats and the change log now once you have gone through all this information now let's go ahead and download this WordPress plugin files onto the computer drive to download the plugin files onto the computer you'll have a button here called download version which gives the version number of the WordPress plugin click on download and the download window pops up Save the file on your computer hard drive. Here is the WordPress plugin files of Personal Tweet Me that is saved on our desktop of the computer. The next step is to go to your WordPress admin area of your blog. Once you're inside the WordPress admin area of your blog, scroll down and click on the plugin section. In the plugin section, you'll have a button called Add New next to the heading plugins click on add new once you click on add new you will have an option called upload where you can upload the wordpress plugin files to your blog here is another feature which i want to quickly show you 
Here you can search for the WordPress plugins that you are looking for directly from the plugin section area. You can type in the name of the WordPress plugin you are looking for in this box and click on search plugins and you will get the plugins right here and you can install it from this area. In this way it will save your time to search and install the plugins instead of going every time to wordpress.org and finding the plugins you can directly find and install the plugins from this area. Next I'll show you how you can upload the files of the plugin that we downloaded. Click on upload. Once you click on upload you'll be taken to a page where you have the option to upload the files. Please make sure the WordPress plugin files that we downloaded should be in compressed format. Please don't unzip it. Please let it be in compressed format so that it's easy for you to upload through your plugins section area. Next, click on browse. Find the plugin files that is downloaded on your computer hard drive. Select the WordPress plugin files and click on open. Next, click on install now. Next, the plugin is uploaded and installed successfully. To activate this plugin, you'll have an option called activate plugin. Click on activate plugin. Once you click on activate plugin, you'll get a message saying the plugin is activated and you can scroll down and see that the plugin is activated on your blog. To deactivate this plugin, you can simply click on deactivate. To edit the options of this plugin, you can click on edit. Now let's go and see how this plugin looks like on our blog. Here it is. The tweet button is successfully added to your blog. Now your subscribers and readers can click on this tweet button and share your blog post directly on Twitter from your blog. That was the first way of finding and installing WordPress plugins on your blog. Next I'll show you how to find WordPress plugins that's used by most of the bloggers around the world. To do this go to google.com and in the search tab type best WordPress plugins. You'll get a list of websites which show you which are the best WordPress plugins that you should install on your blog. In this case, we'll go with this website, which is sitesketch101.com, which tells you the 15 best WordPress plugins to use in 2010. Well, it's almost 2011. Once you enter the website, you'll be able to find the list of the WordPress plugins that are very good. Now, to go to the WordPress plugin, you'll find the links in the website yeah, you have to just click on the link and it will take you to the download page of the WordPress plugin. You can also go to wordpress.org website and under the extend menu click on plugins and go to the plugin directory and here you'll have a, a small option called most popular. Click on this most popular option and it will display you the most popular plugins of WordPress. Here are the most popular WordPress plugins. You'll be able to see the version when it was updated, the downloads and the rating that the WordPress users have given for this plugin. This was a general description of how you can find and install a WordPress plugin on your blog. There are thousands of other WordPress plugins which you can install on your blog using similar process. Just in case if you get lost while installing the WordPress plugin on your blog, you can have a look at the installation guide that will come with the WordPress plugin. You can also find the installation guide while downloading the WordPress plugin in the description of the WordPress plugin area. Next I'll share with you some of the recommended WordPress plugins recommended on projectwellshinde.com. The first plugin is All-in-One SEO Pack. This WordPress plugin will help you in search engine optimization of your blog and your blog posts. The second WordPress plugin is XML Sitemap plugin. This plugin will help you in generating 
XML sitemaps that will help you to get indexed on search engines better. A third plugin is subscribe to comments. This plugin will send automatic email follow-ups to your commentators about the next comment made on your blog. The next plugin is share this. This plugin adds a lot of social media buttons on your blog so that your subscribers and readers can share your blog posts across various social media sites without leaving your blog. And the last WordPress plugin is WP Super Catchy. This plugin will generate HTML static pages of your blog so that every time your readers or subscribers access your blog, there is very less load on the server. More recommended WordPress plugins are mentioned below this video. There are some of the free recommended and some of the pay recommended plugins that I mentioned in the resource section below this video. Please go ahead and have a look at some of the important WordPress plugins that can increase the functionality and boost the performance of your WordPress blog. There are literally thousands of WordPress plugins that are available on the internet. This video is just a brief description of how you can find and install a new WordPress plugin to your blog. I recommend you to search through the internet and find more information on the plugins on how to install them and how it is useful for you when you install it on your blog. Now let's have a quick look at a summary of what we discussed in this video. We first discussed what is a WordPress plugin. We discussed about the default WordPress plugins that came installed with your WordPress blog when they were installed. And we also discussed how to find and install a new WordPress plugin on your blog. We also saw how you can find some popular plugins using websites like google.com and wordpress.org. And we also saw some of the recommended plugins that is recommended on fredworldchinday.com. Before I conclude, I would like to offer you my free blogpreneurship e-course which is a step-by-step e-course -step e on basics of blogging. This e-course contains great content, resources and videos about blogging. It took me a lot of time and a lot of frustration to get my hands on this information and I have summed up and packaged this information into a simple to follow step-by-step e-course. -step e this e-course is simple to follow with no geek talk. No worries if you are a non-technical person, you will still be able to follow this easy e-course and get your blog online very very soon. To get access to this free e-course, please go to www.prajwalshinde.com, enter your email and click on free instant access to subscribe to my e-course. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or experiences that you want to share with us, please leave it in the comment section below this video. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you very soon in my next video.